Welcome to Nurses Note YouTube. Please subscribe our channel. Today topic is superior vena cava. It is a great vein that drains the venous blood from the upper part, above the diaphragm, of the body into the right atrium of the heart. Beginning with level. It is formed by the union of right and left brachiocephalic veins behind the lower border of right first coastal cartilage close to the manubrium sterni. Ends with level. Atrium behind the right third sternocostal junction. Valves. It has no valve. Measurements. Length, 7 cm. Width, 2 cm. Course. After its formation, it descends vertically with slight convexity to the right behind the first and second right intercostal spaces. In its course, it pierces the fibrous pericardium at the level of right second coastal cartilage which causes the superior vena cava divides into extrapericardial and intrapericardial parts. Lastly, it drains into the posterosuperior part of the right atrium behind right third coastal cartilage. Clinical Notes Superior vena cava obstructed in cases of mediastinal syndrome. The obstruction may occur above the opening of a zygos vein or below the opening of a zygos vein. If obstruction occur above the opening of a zygos vein the venous blood return from upper part of the body through the a zygos vein result is superficial veins are dilated on chest wall. If obstruction occurs below the a zygos vein venous blood will return through the inferior vena cava via the femoral veins result is superficial veins of the chest wall and abdomen up to the saphenous opening of the thigh dilated. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel.